What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We're live to both with a huge discussion. I feel like one of my number one asked questions is, besides the chases, goes from the past seems very lackluster. What am I missing here? Why is it selling out everywhere? Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily had an early deal. That has been long since eaten up. Tier Zero has sold out now multiple times at higher levels for 30 cases each relist. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market just sold out of $105 displays. It's selling like hotcakes today because of one simple rumor in addition to the old reveals of blue eyes alternative as a ghost and then rumors of dark magician and black luster soldier the chaos the link version also being ghost and people going oh my gosh the hype today we saw dark magician girl appear in facebook groups now this one is way more sus to me than the other rumors you see the stars foiling cut in half the glaze looks a bit more mirror like but and we don't have video and other pictures comparisons but for this one this simple release of a rumor the set number goes in order you have the stuff at the bottom people have gone crazy in the buying this out so first i want to go to chat's number one ask question of the day john the rest of the contents of the set they really don't seem that good to me what what am i missing why are people going crazy let's just take this bit by bit so this is a march reprint set in history that has been dual power legendary collection kaiba Dual Overload the most recently, Duelist Saga, and these sets long term almost always pan out very well for themselves sealed, and some of those singles continue to do well. So with this, you see that there are 87 returning cards, five of which are ghosts. That's 82 reprints, and we only know very few of them. Arm Dragon level 10, we know Tribute Lanius, which actually is very high priced on the secondary market, Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon, Phantom Knight's Fogblade. So some decent picks here and there, but nothing blowing your mind out of the water but historically the march reprint set the reprints are on top last year's dual overload was a huge exception we got halka fibrax and the anaconda and other huge link range pack cards that drove the set home and were atop the value and usually chase cards are just the msrp back around of the product this time you're still paying a dollar a card the 15 dollars so i expect to see like some double msrp cards maybe but that's where they plant cards like impermanence and other things and of course they're going to have to get to dragoonity cards here metal foes there's going to be a lot of filler that happens in these sets but it is likely they will source ignition or eternity code and other stuff that's why people are so crazy that on top of a march reprint set with tons of new archetypes well the new archetypes aren't the most of this it's only 45 cards 82 reprints are coming we don't know what they are all we can do are educated guesses and look at the past. Now, one thing I do want to note about the Dark Magician Girl leak that makes it even a little more sus, and I want to be clear, if this is a true leak, I am so happy. It's great for the set. It's great for business. It's great for everything. I hope it's real, but I'm still super sus of it. If you read down here, it actually says about the Ghost Rares in the descriptions. Five cards in the set will appear exclusively and rarely as beautiful Ghost Rares. See, cards you love like blue eyes alternative white dragon like you've never seen them before also set name and contents are subject to changes on the same screen dark magician girl has had a usa release because of world's day as a ghost rare i don't mean to um actually here but with this dmg she is in her original art form which is the same art it will have english letters i guess that does make it a different card in a sense but it is the same art we have seen this ghost before with a usa release at world's days at locals so i feel like that even more so doesn't fit the description but again that's what rumors do a slash leaks they create sales and we actually went back through time dual overload had leaks by an instagrammer who got his hands on cards early and was showing off Medolce reprints or new links that would be inside and confirmations like this so this has happened before specifically with a march reprint set that's why a lot of people are not just drinking but eating the kool-aid powder and going in here spending their money like crazy so again People saying, well, the value doesn't seem to be there. Chase cards alone can't do it, right? Uh, we actually go through, like, history. Look at this. 
the the value is chasing after different chase cards this was very lucky to have multiple at one point infinite impermanence was still towards 30 plus halka fibrax has had its time at 30 verte now at 30 and tons of other cards in huge value range at the time of reprinting the gear suit was 40 dollars chaos dragon levy and near was 30 and look how they have fallen down in price cyber emergency now at two dollars with another reprint thank gosh and it was starting to go up but like all these high-end cards and you source from savage strike you have fantastical dragon phantasm they went in and with dark neo storm as well as the savage strike reprint of fantastical phantasm they grabbed from multiple sets so what could be in here once again it could be ignition assault you could see lightning storm potentially you could see eternity code and access code talker cards and stuff like that but that is all hypothetical when we are addressing that now going through chase cards can hard carry a set absolutely and you have five of them this time to give even more random value to what you're hunting down 10,000 dragon was the more persistent chase card you would get more of them than utopia it's way higher in price the japanese came into our market and ate a lot of them off of it and then huge channels getting into the pokemon craze like moist critical actually bought tons of these boxes off the market and look at this versus you, you used to be able to pre-order this for $60. People were scared it would fail because of the singles. Invocation, horridly short-printed. Chaos Emperor Dragon, short-printed. And weird, another short atop the set. But then the Numeron engine wasn't at all. And people are like, that's weird. And it turns out to be not as powerful as once first thought. But a lot of rogue players play it. And it's still a very good engine. Budget engine. Gotta give Konami their dues. I thought this was terrible on release. Yet this one simple chase card has really bolstered and pushed the set. And lifted it to the next level without the contents needing to be stellar and crazy that's what chase cards can do that's why you're seeing this flashbang of just rumor releases like this selling out sight after sight after sight huge names in the community which you can use code what's good five on if they relist i'm actually going to talk to uh tier zero i think they may be able to get more of this in so be checking back on their site but the usa i've heard this is sold out on pretty much the level where people can get it at so they're gonna have a lot of trouble getting this in the u.s and the eu it's starting to go really fast all of a sudden with everything going on so hopefully we can get more of this cheap if you are looking for it. but that's why it's going March reprint sets historically do very well for themselves. Look at this. The singles, there's still not one that's really getting you back the value of the box, depending. Like, the first set, Blue Eyes, White Dragons had some buyouts. But, like, the sealed box proportionally has gone up like crazy and this was so popular on shelves the first had sold out like this and it was gone a lot of people thinking that with ghosts from the past and could it be rewaved unlimited absolutely guess what's gonna get happening with that people are gonna eat it up and take it off the shelves and you see the unlimited kaiba collection actually even more ridiculously priced because it was really hard to get unlimited ghosts will not be as desirable as first edition even if like a print run fixes some of what's going on or other things happen there i first had ghosts we've seen that market it sells itself on another level but with everything happening this is why march reprints that's for the time like ash blossom at the time that was a huge reprint and there were other big things in here for what happened then you could actually get the link when duos around two to three bucks back in the day i heavily suggested that march reprint sets have a lot to offer both short and long term it's one of the biggest sales of the year usually only the megatons sell more than it and this year this year people are freaking after it this early and the set's been pushed back on top of it the release isn't till mid-april when originally it was supposed to be a march reprint set so that's why we're calling it a march reprint set but yeah that is likely fake right well see versus the other leaks that a lot of people think are real this is number 128 then this lines up at 129 this would be one of the most extremely well done fakes while the foil on the stars are cut in half if this left the manufacturing plant or something like that i mean it's 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 very well done for a fake i'm just still a little sus of it basically that's my take on it but we we'll have to wait and see we want no till it's here in our hands or revealed by an official yugi tuber what's going to happen and all those reveals are going to be shoved back as well unless leaks continue to happen and other confirmations do go in that being said thank you for watching today's video i appreciate it 
thanks so much. Hanging out with me live on stream during the big game, as we have to call it here on YouTube. It means a lot to me. This video will either go up tonight or tomorrow morning. I really do want to actually get it up tonight if we get to Twitch only. But uh, thank you so much. And to answer a lot of questions that just keep getting asked of me, I wanted to put it out here in video form. Yeah, like and subscribe. Exactly. And use that TCG player link in the description down below. Costing you nothing extra support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying when hunting down the ghost rares if you feel like that's what you want to go after.